Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Jessica Lee, and I'm here today from Trent University, located in Ontario, Canada. I'm excited to share with you about our program offerings, along with information about our university, admissions, scholarships, finances, student life, and so much more. So please join me for the next 40 minutes or so to learn more about Trent University. And I welcome you to also ask questions. If you would like to type your questions um, under the questions section, I will be sure to address them at the end of this presentation. In the meantime, I would love to kick off this presentation with a video of Trent University. So let me share that with you. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I love seeing all the comments to say hello. Hello again, Thank everyone, you. and welcome to the program. Um, let what me Yes, I love seeing all the hello that you've commented, so thank you for that. With that, I would love to share my presentation with you, so please give me a moment while I share that right now. Okay, here we go. So Trent University. Well, before I move on, I would like to also share with you a little bit about myself. So my name is Jessica and I graduated from Trent University many, many years ago. I went to Trent University as an international student and originally I'm from Malaysia. And when I was choosing a university, I wanted to pick a university that was the right fit for me. You see, I came from a large city, uh, Kuala Lumpur, just uh, in Malaysia. And when I was thinking about studying abroad, I wanted to be truly immersed in the Canadian culture. So I looked at all the universities all across Canada and I narrowed it down to a few universities. And then I chose Trent University because of its program. I chose Trent University because of the environment and support that I could get at Trent. And I also chose Trent University partly because they offered me a scholarship as well. And so when I combined all of those factors, I came to Trent University and I completed a Bachelor of Science in Psychology with a minor in Business Administration. And I love my experience at Trent and stayed on to work at Trent. And down the line, I also pursued my Master of Education as well. And so when I'm talking to you about Trent University, I'm giving you a very personal student perspective in addition to also giving you a staff perspective too. So I encourage you to ask questions in the questions section. Feel free to type them out as you're listening into the presentation and I'll be sure to answer them along at the end of the presentation. So for Trent University, before we begin, I would like to just take this moment to respectfully acknowledge that Trent University is on the traditional territory of the Mississauga Anishinaabe people. Now, many of you may have heard about Trent, but for those who have not, 
We are the number one undergraduate university in Ontario, and it's a ranking that we have held for 10 years in a row. This speaks volumes to our leadership in teaching, research, and student satisfaction. We're also number one in Canada for scholarships and bursaries, and we have been number one for 20 years in a row. And this means that as students coming into Trent University, you will be supported through your academic career, through scholarships or bursaries, or even awards, depending on the category that you're at. And this is applicable for both undergraduate students all the way to students who are pursuing their PhD at Trent University. We are also one of Canada's top undergraduate research universities. And what this means for you as a student is that you will have the opportunity to get involved in research starting at your undergraduate level. So you do not have to wait till you're doing your master's to do research. You could actually start doing research in the sciences, even in the third or fourth year of your studies, or you get to work alongside professors at your undergraduate level so that you gain the skills that you need to then move on to graduate schools or to careers that would involve research skills. 95% of our students have told us that they are happy that they chose Trent University and the same amount of students are also satisfied with the overall quality of education that they receive from Trent. And to us, this is the measure that matters most to us. And the reason why is because we believe in providing students quality education, not just in terms of the academic program, but also through the university experience. Students choose Trent for the university experience that they can get. They will be in a welcoming community where all students across the world feel a sense of belonging from the very first moment that they step foot on campus. They'll also be in an environment that they are supported throughout their whole university career. And they'll also be in a university that prepares them for successful careers once they graduate. So what is it about the Trent experience that has helped to set us apart from a lot of other universities? Well, I have a few theories to share with you. And the first would be our learning environment. At Trent University, learning is key and questioning is crucial. So it's a very active form of learning where students are asking questions alongside professors. And by asking questions, you're building your critical thinking skills. You're building your analytical skills. And those are skills that employers are looking for in employees these days. In addition to that, education at Trent is personal because you are the one in charge of your education. For example, I chose to do a combination of psychology and business for my undergraduate degree, but I was able to select the courses that I was truly interested in learning. So when it came to business, I wasn't really interested in certain areas of business, but I was very interested in human resource management. So I focused in on courses looking at human resource management. Or when it came to psychology, I was interested in courses that looked at how your brains and your hormones would affect behavior. I was also interested in social psychology. So I zoomed in on those courses. Even at the graduate level, when I was doing my master's program at Trent University, I was able to customize my degree according to my interest. And my interest was looking at the academic experience of immigrants in Canada. So when they first arrived in Canada and for the first year of their studies, how do they adapt? How do they um, integrate themselves within the school system? And how do they find the Canadian school system different from their home countries? So that was my area of interest. And I took courses alongside that so that I could build that knowledge for my own personal interest. So you at Trent University will be in charge of your own education. Education at Trent is also purposeful because what you learn would have a potential to make a difference in the world. For example, our students who are in the nursing program, they're working and doing their placements at the hospitals right now. And especially with the pandemic, um, it's really hands-on for the nursing students to be able to work at a hospital and making a difference in the lives of the patients that come into the hospital. 
or our graduate students may be doing research as well. For example, we have students who are researching on animals that are going extinct in this world. And so in that regard, they're making a difference to conserve the population of those animals. And one of which would be the pink dolphins off the coast of Taiwan itself. And education at Trent is transformative because you are forever changed by your Trent experience. You graduate with a clearer sense of who you are and the types of gifts that you have to contribute to the world. Now let's delve into the programs that we offer at Trent. In general, we have a range of programs in humanities, sciences, social sciences, as well as professional programs. Let me highlight a few programs that may interest you. Forensic Science is a popular program at Trent University with opportunities for you to work at our crime scene house and crime scene facility and also do placements with the Ontario Provincial Police Department. We have a Law and Arts and Law and Business program where you're able to complete two degrees, a Law degree and an Arts degree or a Law and Business degree all within six years. We also have a Journalism program we have psychology, kinesiology, medical professional stream, nursing, chemical engineering dual degree, sustainable agriculture and food systems. We have biomedical science, biology, biochemistry and molecular biology, international political economy, and so much more. We have over 100 programs for you to choose from. And other popular programs at the undergraduate level would include our computer science program, where within our computer science program, you could also specialize in software engineering or in data analytics. You could also perhaps pursue a degree in social work or sociology, or you could do a degree in anthropology or archaeology, and so much more. The choice is truly yours. But of course, when a lot of students are thinking about studying at Trent, they may be interested in studying in one of our prestigious schools of study, where students could pursue a Bachelor of Environmental Sciences Studies within the School of the Environment, or even pursue a PhD in our Environmental Studies program. Students could also study in our School of Business to pursue a Bachelor of Business Administration at the undergraduate level, or a Master of Management at a graduate level. The School of Nursing, where they can do nursing at the undergraduate level or a master's in nursing. School for Indigenous Studies. School of Education, where we prepare our students to be the leaders in education and teachers in education for tomorrow. And the School for the Study of Canada. And if you're having a hard time trying to decide at the undergraduate level in terms of what programs to choose from, don't worry. You could always consider doing a joint major. So you combine two different areas of interest for your degree at Trent University. In the past, I've seen students combining programs like computer science with philosophy. I've seen students combining environmental studies with business administration. So there are lots of opportunities for you to do joint majors as well to enhance your degree that way. We also offer our own Trent ESL program which is an English for university program for you to gain that English skills that you would need to succeed in university. So you're able to gain conditional admission into Trent's undergraduate program through the Trent ESL program. And we have five levels that you could be placed in, in levels one, two, three. Uh, they're focused more on your English skills, whereas in levels four and five, they're more foundation skills for universities. So we prep you with academic skills, such as writing essays or lab reports, or even how to do presentations or math skills that you would may also need, how to understand math terms in English. So we provide all of that within our levels four and five of the ESL program. We also do offer summer programs for students who are interested in gaining experience learning English in a health setting. So say if you're interested in health science and you want to learn the terminologies of English in the health setting, we also offer that. We also offer it, uh, summer programs for English for um, education and more. And our program is also accredited by Languages Canada. Now here we have with us Professor Hugh Hodges, 
who is one of my favorite professors at Trent University. And what he's saying here is that Trent exceeds your expectations because from the outside, we may seem like a small size university, but from the inside, we are enormous and we offer all of the amenities and all of the facilities that a large university would offer. So you get the best of both worlds by studying at Trent, the amenities of a large institution, plus the attention from a small size university and classroom so that professors are able to be invested in you and get to know you as a person and show you what you're capable of doing. So that's where I can personally testify to that because I have been through that Trent University experience and I've seen that, you know, where professors took an interest in me and they were there for me when I needed assistance too. So this is where you get the best of both worlds studying at Trent University. Now, a lot of universities talk about hands-on experience and real-world experience, but at Trent University, we live that experience daily. And that is why we guarantee that no matter which program that you're in at the undergraduate level, you will be able to gain guaranteed experiential learning experiences. We do have experiences within our graduate programs as well. For example, with our Master of Management program, students are gaining one term of work experience in the greater Toronto area itself. And some of the forms of experiential learning would come in the form of a community research or applied field research, or internships and co-ops, or practicums, or traditional knowledge experience, or stimulated workplace projects. So those are some of the ways that you can gain hands-on experience. And of course, if you're also thinking of gaining experience abroad in addition to coming to Canada, you could also study abroad for one term or one year in over 35 different countries across the world. Now let's check out our location. I've talked a lot about our programs, but where is Trent located? If you look at this map, you will find Ottawa on the top right, and the city of Ottawa is the capital of Canada. You will also find Toronto on the bottom left of the map. And the city of Toronto is the capital of Ontario. So if you look at our campuses, we are ideally located between the two capitals. And for now, I would love to bring you to our Durham Greater Toronto Area campus located in the city of Oshawa, which is just 40 minutes east from Toronto itself. Trent University Durham Greater Toronto Area campus is an urban campus where you are in a large city, part of the Greater Toronto Area. So if you're looking for that urban experience, perhaps this could be the campus for you. At Trent University Durham, you will find around 2,000 students studying there, of which students are studying in our business program or in our humanities program or social sciences programs, such as journalism or child and youth studies or psychology. We also do have postgraduate certificates offered at this campus, one-year postgraduate certificates in human resource management or marketing and entrepreneurship. And we also do offer the Master of Management program at this campus itself. So here is a list of the programs that we offer at the Trent University Durham Greater Toronto Area Campus. And our campus is also very accessible for students who are thinking that they may perhaps want to live in Toronto and commute to Trent University. It's very easy for you to commute through public transportation itself. And our campus at the Durham Greater Toronto area is also expanding. And so as of this September, we just opened up a brand new residence and academic building that features classrooms, lecture halls, faculty offices, student spaces, and also residence rooms. So you get to pick to live in a single or double residence room at the Durham Greater Toronto area campus. Moving on to the city of Peterborough. Now, I went to the Peterborough campus, so I'm a little bit biased when I say that it's one of the most beautiful campuses that I've ever been to all across Canada. And I've been to campuses from coast to coast, from the west coast to the east coast. And at the Peterborough campus, 
it's surrounded by a lot of nature with a river running through it, lots of um, hiking trails that you could go to. And you will find students studying in our ESL program to undergraduate programs, graduate programs, as including our master's and PhD too. And at this campus, there are close to 9,000 students at the Peterborough campus itself. The Peterborough campus is located a 10 minute drive from downtown Peterborough. And Peterborough is a welcoming and very friendly city. And so at downtown Peterborough, you will find a range of restaurants and coffee shops that you could go to. Uh, there's also a very lively music scene where there's a lot of art scene and music scene within the city itself. Uh, there are also festivals, music festivals that we have during the summer. And Peterborough is also home to the tallest hydraulic lift lock system in the whole entire world. The city of Peterborough and the greater Peterborough area holds around 140,000 people. And so it's a good sized city. And if you ever decide that you want to go to Toronto, you can hop on a bus and head to Toronto within an hour and 45 minutes. It's very convenient for you to do so. At the Peterborough campus, we also have a college system where students are divided into smaller communities within the larger university community. And each college will have different traditions and different activities, and there is a strong college spirit. And if you do uh, want to be involved in the activities in also student leadership position, each colleges would also have the cabinet. Each college would have its own cabinet where you're able to then make decisions on behalf of all of the students within that college itself. And residence is also a part of the college system. So at the Peterborough campus, you get to choose between a single, double, or even sometimes a triple room option in traditional dorm style, or in apartment style residence. So we could literally be your home away from home. Residence is guaranteed to all incoming students and you also get to select your own room. Laundry, internet, and a meal plan are all included within the cost of residence. And if you're planning on living in residence, we also offer living learning communities that are either academic based or interest based communities within the residence. So if you're interested in living with students who share the same program interests, you could do that. Or if you're interested in living with students who share the same interest in terms of outdoor activities or global living or leadership, you could also do that too. At Trent University, you will also have access to our state-of-the-art athletics facilities at both the Peterborough and the Durham campuses. At the Peterborough campus, we are also one of the five training grounds for future Team Canada Olympians for rowing. We are one of the five training centers for rowing for Canadian Olympics. And so with that, um, you have access to that facility as well. We also offer varsity teams where if you're interested in playing in our varsity soccer or varsity track and field or varsity volleyball, you're able to join our team to play for Trent University. Or if you're like me, I'm not really into sports, but I would like to use the gym facility, head to our gymnasium to use our machines and equipments there, wall climbing facility, or join one of the fitness classes that we offer at Trent University. We also have a gorgeous student center where this is the, basically the hub of all student activities. And so you'll find a range of student events happening throughout the year. And you'll also find a lot of students grabbing a drink from Starbucks perhaps and hanging out with your friends here. And our career center is also located in this building. So if you're looking at perhaps job opportunities to work while you're a student, or if you're looking at ways to connect with an alumni mentor who can guide you on your next steps, or if you're just wondering, what do I do next after I graduate? Our career center is there to guide you and prepare you for your career down the line. We also have a beautiful library where we have um, computer labs for both Apple's and PC computers that you could use. We also have quiet study spaces as well as collaborative room spaces for you to do group projects. And so a lot of students realize that by the end of their academic journey, they become Trent and Trent becomes a part of them. And if you're wondering, what does that mean? 
Well, I can tell you that when I first arrived at Trent University, I thought I knew myself. But by the time I graduated, I had a clearer sense of who I am and the types of gifts that I have to contribute to the world. And also I found that I embodied, grew, or I grew to embody the values of Trent University, which are social justice and also environmental sustainability. And so that those two values are at the core of my own daily life right now as well. And so speaking of graduation, 90% of our undergraduate students grad are employed within six months after graduation. And the rest of our students and many of them head on to graduate schools or to professional schools like medical schools or pharmacy schools or dentistry schools too. So to quickly recap on the reasons why you should consider Trent University, we are a leader in student satisfaction. We're also number one in Canada for scholarships and bursaries, as well as being the number one undergraduate university in Ontario for 10 years. We are one of Canada's top research universities. And finally, our graduates get careers. And here are a list of places where our graduates are working at. Some of them are working with the government, some of them are working in the private sector, and some of them are working in the public sector. Perhaps you could be working in one of these companies down the line. So what do you need to start your journey to Trent University? For our undergraduate programs, we're looking at your um, diplomacy and we are asking for a minimum of 70% for admission into most of our programs. However, it's also important to note that there may be some programs that would ask for a higher average as well as subject prerequisites. And for our students coming in for all levels, we're also asking for proof of English proficiency, such as IELTS, TOEFL, KALE, Pearson, or Duolingo. Students who are coming in through the American curriculum, we're asking for a B average or a GPA of 3.0. And students could also receive transfer credits for any of the AP courses. We're not asking for SATs. Students who are coming in with the British curriculum, we're asking for at least two advanced level courses with grades of C or higher. But again, keeping in mind that there may be higher requirements for some programs. And we will also grant transfer credits for any of the courses, A-level courses with grades of C or better. For students who are in the IB curriculum, we're asking for a minimum of 26 points for admission and students who have higher level courses with grades of five or above will receive transfer credits. So those are our admission requirements for the undergraduate programs. For students who have questions about our graduate program um, entry requirements, you're also able to contact our School of Graduate Studies to get more information on that. And that varies from program to program as well. Now, you can apply to Trent directly for $90 Canadian, or you could use a centralized Ontario University's application center to apply to Trent University for our ESL program, our undergraduate program, or the postgraduate certificate programs. For the master and PhD programs, you have to apply directly to Trent University. And please keep in mind that these are the deadlines for our undergraduate programs. I always tell students, apply early because you want to make sure that you get all your documents in in time so that you also have plenty of time to apply for a study permit. Finances, scholarships, and bursaries. A lot of students also would ask, how much does it cost to study at your university? So here we have the fees for our ESL program per term. And so depending on your level and depending on your location, you could be paying anywhere between $4,000 to $6,900, depending on the level itself for our ESL program. For our undergraduate program, as well as the postgraduate certificate, our tuition for the current year is $22,454, which puts us as one of the lowest tuition fees in the province of Ontario. If you're adding in ancillary fees, which are student fees, like your university health insurance, that would add up to close to $25,000 per year for tuition and ancillary fees. 
And then when you add housing and meals and your books and supplies and personal expenses, you're looking at anywhere between 36 to 42,000 Canadian dollars per year. Now I mentioned earlier that we're number one in Canada for scholarships and bursaries. And when you apply to Trent University for our undergraduate program, you are automatically considered for an entrance scholarship where you could get anywhere between $1,000 to $3,000 in entrance scholarship for your first year, depending on your curriculum. In addition to that, I also strongly encourage you to apply for our Trent International Scholarships and Awards, where you could receive anywhere between $2,000 to $25,000 per year for your undergraduate study. So imagine over four years, you could receive up to $100,000 in scholarships from Trent University and $25,000 will cover the cost of your tuition and ancillary fees. So for these scholarships, they're based on your academic achievement, community service involvement, leadership potential, as well as financial need. And it's for students who are planning on joining us for our September intake. The, the deadline to apply is on February 15th, and more information can be found at our website, trantu.ca slash intl slash scholarships. And a lot of students also wonder, what can I do to finance my education? So international students who are studying full-time are able to work up to 20 hours during the school year, um, 20 hours per week, or up to 40 hours per week during breaks and holidays. So some students would work on campus or some students would work off campus. For example, in my office, we hire students working in various capacities, whether it's to assist with recruitment or to assist with admissions or marketing or programming and more. In Ontario right now, the current minimum wage is $14.25 per hour. So a lot of students do work part-time as a way to also help finance their education. And we have a job board on campus where you're able to access all of the employment opportunities. So employers would post positions on the job board and you can also access those positions to apply to. So we are here to support you. We have global ambassadors who are upper year students who will reach out to you before you join Trent University and assist you with your transition over to Trent. We also have international student advisor who will be able to provide both academic and immigration advising. We have a study abroad advisor. We also have our Trent International Office, which is my office, and it's a one-stop shop for you to get all of your questions answered. We have a career space office, as well as a wellness center, because we believe that your well-being is important to your academic success. And so, I'm pleased to let you know that Trent University is one of the approved institutions that would allow international students to come in um, and study in person. So we currently have a thousand students living in residence right now. We have international students arriving uh, by the week. So for example, last week we had a student who just arrived um, from Saudi Arabia. And so we have students in the upcoming weeks arriving one by one. Um, there is a two-week quarantine period for students who are coming in to Canada, but we have a strong plan for you to quarantine and also to begin your studies in person and be safe as well. So right now we have students studying in person and we look forward to welcoming more students as well. So we, I would also like to invite you to join our virtual activities. We have virtual open house events or virtual campus tours and live stream events and more. So please feel free to check out trantu.ca slash virtual for more information on our virtual activities. And with that, I would love to invite you to connect with us. You could call us, you could email us, you could also connect with us on Facebook or Instagram, and I will also share my email address with all of you in the chat. So thank you for joining me today and I hope that you found this session informative and I look forward to answering your questions. Okay, so I see that we have students asking questions. That's great. I'm going to start with um, 
Julia. Yeah. So the first question is, can you please inform about the minimum GPA requirements for a bachelor's degree application? So I believe I've covered that information in the presentation, and I hope that um, you found that useful. To refresh your memory, for students who are coming in from high school in Turkey in the local curriculum, we're asking for a minimum of 70%. However, there are some programs that would have a higher average, so aim as high as you can. Um, but if you're in a different curriculum that I didn't mention, please feel free to just email me and I'll be happy to let you know what the requirements are for a bachelor's degree. Okay, so the next question is, can you please inform about the minimum GPA requirement for the postgraduate degree application? So if you're applying for our master's program, we are asking for a GPA of 3.3 out of 4.0 based on your last two years of full-time studies. So we're looking for a four-year degree program. We're also looking for a GPA of 3.3 out of four. And then of course, we ask for reference letters, sample essays, writing samples, and more. So I hope that gives you an idea of our graduate requirements, as well as proof of English proficiency. That's also something that we do ask for. Okay, the next one is, um, a student who would like to study English literature and which exam do you have to do? And after graduation, will we help to find a job and how many scholarships? Okay, great. We offer English literature at Trent University. And so to apply to Trent University, we do ask for proof of English proficiency such as IELTS or TOEFL or KILL or Pearson or Duolingo. And um, when you are studying at Trent University, we have our career center who can assist you um, to look for jobs, who can also assist you to connect you with alumni who are in the field um, so that you get an idea of the different job opportunities. And in terms of scholarships, um, it all depends on your application. For entrance scholarship, you can only get once because it's based on your grades when you're applying to Trent. But for the Trent International Scholarships and Awards, those are renewable. And so you could get it over the four years and you can combine the entrance scholarship with the Trent International Scholarships and Awards together. And then once you're a student at Trent University, you could also apply for additional scholarships and bursaries for current students too. So I hope that helps. The next question that we have is, what is the application deadline for September 2021? Now, this depends on which program that you're applying to. At the undergraduate level, we say it's June 1st. However, there are some programs that would have an earlier deadline, such as February 1st. So to be safe, just apply by February 1st, if possible. For the graduate program, for our master's and PhD, the deadline is also February 1st. So I would say apply as soon as you can for September 2021. Okay. The next question is, how is career opportunities for international students after graduation? And so first of all, it's very important to recognize that Canada is so generous in offering a three-year postgraduate work permit for you to work in Canada after you graduate with your undergraduate degree or perhaps your master's and PhD. And so that allows you three years to work all across Canada. And in terms of career opportunities for international students, a lot of international students stay on in Canada to work and with the idea of immigrating to Canada down the line. For international students, we actually have a strong um, experiential learning program. And that is why I encourage you to get involved in the experiential learning, whether it's, it's through co-op or internships or placements, because those will give you the hands-on skills and Canadian work experience that will make you highly employable after you graduate. So there are many opportunities for international students to stay on and work in Canada. The next question is, do we offer um, pre-sessional English if you don't reach the English language requirement? And yes, we do offer a Trent ESL program. I've covered that a little bit in our presentation earlier. So our Trent ESL program will provide you with a strong foundation in English, and you're also able to gain conditional admission into our undergraduate degree programs. And then the next one is, 
Great. I'm glad to hear that you plan to take an ESL course prior to your undergraduate studies. You can certainly do that. So when you apply to Trent for our undergraduate program, you can apply to our degree programs. Um, you have three options with our direct application. So you can apply for two degree programs plus one ESL, or if you apply to three degree programs, our admission office is also able to offer you a conditional offer of admission into our ESL plus degree program once we see that you will need that English ESL course. So there are different ways for you to apply, but the answer is yes, you can do that. And the next question is, do we offer online programs? Yes, we do offer some courses that are online, but most of our programs are in person. And here's the reason why. For students, international students, a lot of them do plan on um, gaining a university experience in person, but also they also plan on working. And if you're studying in an online program, you're not eligible to get a work permit. So um, we do offer a few online courses, but your degree program will be an in-person degree program. And so the next question is, has summer programs uh, flexible start dates or specific dates? So over the summer, we have two start dates. We have one in May and one at the end of June. So over the summer, you have two different intakes that you could begin your studies. And the next question is, do we offer software engineering and what are the requirements? And the answer is yes, we do offer a specialization in software engineering within our computer science program. And for that, uh, we do ask for students to have a math course in high school. And we also do ask for students to have a minimum of 70% average if they are applying into our course-based program. However, if they're applying into the co-op program, so if you're applying into the co-op program, we're asking for at least an 80% average. And of course, proof of English proficiency as well. The next question is, there is a university that you're currently attending, but you're thinking of starting from scratch. And you're wondering if you're able to apply with your high school grades. And so with Trent University, what you should know is that we do accept transfer students too. So if you're interested in transferring some of your credits so that you could use that towards your degree at Trent, we are able to do that so you don't uh, spend additional years for your undergraduate degree. But generally, when you're applying from another university, we ask for your high school grades along with your university grades. And with your transfer credits, it's up to you if you want to use them or if you want to start from scratch. It's completely optional. And the next question is, would you recommend any specific program um, IT programs for international students oops, who would like to get a career in Canada after graduation. So for Trent University, we also have a degree in information systems. So if you're looking for IT programs, uh, our bachelor's in information system would be one that could suit you. And within that program, we also have students who would do um, placements in the fourth year. You have that opportunity to gain that hands-on experience in your fourth year as well. And then the next question is, if you're not able to meet our English requirement, is it possible to be accepted? And the answer is yes for our undergraduate programs. And so you're able to come in and do our ESL program and then enter into an undergraduate degree program after. For master's and PhD, they ask for you to meet all of the language requirements in order to be eligible for the program. And then the next question is on what about scholarships and fees? Uh, I covered that in the presentation earlier, where our tuition is $22,454 for this year. And that is one of the lowest undergraduate tuition fees across all public universities in Ontario. In addition to that, we also have student fees of approximately $2,600, making your fees payable to Trent University around $25,000 Canadian per year. And so for more information about that, um, you could also check our website for a breakdown of the tuition fees. But I hope you had a chance to uh, listen in on my presentation earlier on the scholarship and fees. 
Okay. Another question is having an exchange here in high school, would it help for scholarships? So for our scholarships, we're looking at students um, who demonstrate leadership potential or are involved in academic um, or extracurricular activities and have strong grades as well as financial yeah. needs. So having studied um, on an exchange program would give you a different skill um, or perhaps you know, you're able to talk about what did you do when you were studying in a different place for high school for that year. So you can draw on those experiences to talk about your extracurricular activities there and also the skills that you have learned. And so those would be useful for scholarships. The next question is, do you have to pay money for all of the semesters? So at Trent University, uh, we ask for our students to pay per term or per semester instead of for the whole entire year. You don't have to pay everything up front. You can break it out into terms and semesters. So hopefully that helps with um, your budgeting when you're trying to budget in terms of payment. You can pay for the fall term in August, pay for the winter term at the start of January, and pay for the summer term at the start of May. And then contact information. Yes, I'll be happy to share my contact information in the chat um, after I'm done answering all of the questions. Oh, <laughs> and the next is a comment that the elephant is great. Thank you. I love elephants personally. Um, so thank you for that comment. <laughs> So let me add my email address. My name is Jessica Lee, and you can email me at jlee at trentu.ca. So it's in the chat right now. Does anyone else have any comments? Okay, good questions. So here we go. Which places or schools after graduation can you work at? And will it be easy to find a job after graduation? So at Trent, what we're really good at is we have our career space office. And it's a place for you to go to, for example, writing a resume and writing a cover letter in Canada is different to writing a resume or cover letter in your home country in terms of the format of it, in terms of the skills that you may want to highlight. So our career space office is able to offer that assistance for you to learn how to write uh, your cover letter and how to also write your resume in a Canadian format. And for students who are, so I see that you're also interested in English literature. Some students have worked as teaching assistants in their third or fourth year to gain that experience in English literature to then down the line be able to also teach in English. Some students may also add an option in linguistics. So you could do a degree in English literature, but have an option in linguistics so that perhaps you may want to do a career in translation that could give you a good foundation for it. Some students may also um, access our career center to look for jobs when they're a student or once they graduate. So our career center is where I would recommend for you to go to. And in terms of whether it will be easy to find a job after graduation, it's all dependent on you um, and how you do during the interviews, how you present yourself on your application. And that is where our career center, we have mock interviews so that you're able to practice on interview skills. We also do have um, our counselors who are able to guide you on where to look for jobs as well as how to apply to those jobs. So Trent University is here to support you. Okay. Does anyone else have any other questions? Yes, I see that uh, there's a question. Is there an internship opportunity at Trent? And yes, there is an internship opportunity in some of our programs. For example, with our business administration program, we have an internship in accounting for our um, forensic science program. We also have internship. So different programs will structure it differently. Some will do placements, some will do um, internships, some will do co-op, some will do practicums, some will do field research, but the idea is that you still gain that hands-on experience. And the next question is a very important question. How are we doing about um, 
coronavirus. And so I can tell you that at Trent University, we are open in person. I'm currently in my office right now. Um, so we have students who are living in residence, a thousand students living in residence at the Peterborough campus. Uh, both our Peterborough and Durham campuses, we have students living in residence. Our campuses are open. We offer in-class courses as well as online courses. So for students who are able to join us in person, you can join us in person. For students who are not able to do so right now, you can also study at home. And so um, by we have a 20 to 1 faculty ratio, and that is very important in terms of distancing from one another, but also being able to get that academic experience. And um, Trent University is one of the universities that have been approved by the government. And in fact, we were one of the first universities um, when the government came out with a list of universities in the first round, we were on that list right from the start because we have a strong and concrete plan for students to be able to study in person and to also, when you arrive as an international student, we also support you in your quarantine plan too. So we are here to support you. That's the most important thing to remember. We're here to support you. And for our cases, I can tell you that in the city of Peterborough, our cases are very low. And um, we've had two people who have come on campus with, uh, who have been tested positive for COVID. One is because they came from Toronto and came to campus. And then we were informed that the person got tested positive. And uh, the other was also a similar case coming from Toronto to campus as well. Um, at the Durham campus, we at the Durham region, it's um, closer to Toronto. So the cases are slightly higher in the city of Oshawa compared to the city of Peterborough. But rest assured that we're also taking all of the measures that are necessary to keep our students and staff members safe as well. So right now you see that I'm not wearing a mask, but a mask is actually mandatory throughout the whole entire campus when you're on campus. I have my office door closed to make sure that no one else is coming in and um, I'm presenting to you. So that's why I'm not wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. So for more updates about Trent's um, plan for with regards to say the COVID-19 situation, you could also visit the following website, trendy.ca slash COVID-19. You're most welcome. Thank you all for being here today. It's been such a pleasure to meet with you. And so I have my email address listed in the chat. Feel free to email me at any time if you have any questions at all about studying in Trent or maybe even what is it like uh, to be in Canada. I can tell you right now that today is a snowy day. So it's beautiful outside with all of the fresh snow. Um, it's approximately like minus two, minus three degrees right now. Um, so we get the whole full spectrum of weather too. But I'm also here for you, so feel free to email me. Thanks for being here today. I really appreciate your time. And I hope that I'll see you in person, um, hopefully in the upcoming months. Okay, take Thank care. Thank you very much, Jessica. It, it was a nice presentation and you covered all questions. It was very informative. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Yes, and you too. Bye bye. Bye.